If you're wondering how you can win this bike, check out the link in the description box. As Sean here from SRKCycles.com, 2014 Yamaha V Star 1300 Deluxe. Wait. No, not the Deluxe, the Tourer. Tourer. The Deluxe has the full fairing on it. This has a touring fairing, the touring bags, and pretty big bags too. Oh, I got headphones. Sick. Oh. Must have been Caleb's. <laughs> I'm going to put this over here. I don't know what the rules are about having open bottles of vodka in your bike, but uh, I'm going to put that over there. Alright guys, so this bike came out, I believe, in 2007. 2007 this bike came out, there was some overlap with this and the V-Star 1100. In my opinion, so, I look at it this way. They came out with two, so the V-Star 1100 was, was, uh, was carbureted and getting a little dated that came out in the early 90s in late 90s they came out with the v-star 950 and the 1300 i've ridden all these bikes a bunch of times i think the 950 is a better performing more powerful bike than the 1100 is and i i, I it's like it's almost not even competition. I would, I would take. It's definitely bigger. Uh, for a bigger guy, I don't feel as cramped on the uh, on the 950. Like I said, like I've said this before. If if the 1100 was the first bike I ever rode, and I hadn't experienced bigger bikes, it would be fine. But now, from riding other stuff, I feel a little bit of cramp. I feel a little cramped on the uh, on the 1100. So, the 950 is where it's at. But then you got the 1300. That's this bad boy. And I love this bike. It's very Road King ish to me. It comes factory with these giant wide bars. Like, you're like, you're like Michael Phelps wingspan just reaching out for him. No, they feel really good. These giant bars, I love them. And the bike just has tons of power. I mean, it's got a, it's got great power. It's very soft, very smooth, good power band. Caleb just spent a couple hours riding this bike um, up in New York around like Lake Placid and stuff. He said he loved it. He's riding double. He said the same thing. He's like that bike has tons of power, and it does. He is not a liar. It comes with the floorboards. Now, something about this bike that you just get used to is that it likes to be in the high, it likes to be at those higher RPMs. You just kind of hear that little stuttering, like this. It just prefers to be in a, uh, you know, at the higher RPMs, which is fine. I'm cool with that. I don't got no beef. Let me show you how this thing pulls. I mean, it just has tons of power. It's a nice looking house. Tons of power, just all over the place. I like the way it handles. It feels nice and nimble. Very light. And anyone of any size, like, and anyone could be riding this bike. You're never gonna, even the even big tall guys. You're never gonna be. You're probably never gonna be too tall to ride this bike unless you're like Shaquille O'Neal, and then you need like a place to custom build you a chopper. But no one likes choppers anyway. So then you just deal with the V Star anyway. That windshield is tall. I'm definitely. I'm looking through like that point of it. Um, I'm not sure if I would get turbulent on top of my head riding this bike. 
at the higher speeds. Now, one thing people have said that they can fix that little like stutteriness. Well, yeah, like this on off throttle, which you, you kind of hear about. It's like a, like here I just kind of, when you're off, it, you kind of like, it's kind of a Yamaha thing. A lot of people complained about that with the, uh, with the FC07s. It was, I get it. I feel it when I first start riding it. But then after a couple, after a little bit of riding, you just you just get used to it. And, you know, it's not it's not so big. It's not that much of a deal. You know, you just have to be a little more smooth, a little smoother, a little more delicate with that throttle hand. I mean, other than that, it's really not that big of a deal. You just get used to it. So all you babies out there, deal with it. But you know, a lot of people say that they can fix it. They can change the map. Or uh, one guy says it's, it has something to do with the O2 sensor, the emissions is why it does that. And there's a little like $20 piece you can buy to fix it. I've ridden the bikes with that fix. It was, I really couldn't tell. But if you spent 20 bucks on it, you're gonna be like, yeah, night and day, I can tell. Night and day. So this bike has, is that right? No, it's a tripometer. This bike has 3,200 miles on it. Wow. Is that right? This bike has low miles. It's a good looking bike. Everyone likes black bikes. It feels good. It, when you take that front windshield off, it, it looks really good too. I think windshields look goofy. I don't even have a windshield on my car. Hate them so much. This. You can't see me, but I'm flipping down my visor. That's my windshield. That's the life I chose to live. So, I mean, a, v a V-Star 1300 is gonna keep up with pretty much any cruiser bike on the road, you know, unless, other than like the top power cruisers and the gold wings and the, and the you know, the CVOs in acceleration. But it is a great bike. It's got tons of power. I enjoy riding it. It's always a joy to hop on one of these things. All right, guys. That wraps up the test drive for the V-Star 1300. I like those gauges too. How it's kind of like a part of what holds the uh, handlebars on there. It's not part of the tank, though. So the gauge moves with you. I mean, it's got a cool, sleek look. All right, guys. That wraps it up. Remember, check out our new channel bikesandbeards.com no bikes and beards youtube channel we get about 21 videos on there it's picking up a lot of steam i'm really excited for all your support and then we also got bikesandbeardsgear.com bikesandbeardsgear.com we got all of our merchandise bikes and beard stuff cool exciting stuff happening with that and don't forget our uh, our patreon page where um we're actually doing a uh, we're giving away a motorcycle to uh to one of our patrons sometime in the next couple months we're pretty excited about it's a sweet bike all right guys remember it's not what you're riding but where are you going we'll see you guys later don't forget to pray for all those people in florida and in texas what's up guys sean here from srk cycles if you guys want to subscribe click right here if you guys want to see our new uh, bikes and beers channel click right here and then click down here if you want to see how to win a motorcycle guys subscribe